Well, hey guys, it's Joel. Welcome back to the channel. And today I am driving a true icon, a car that I can't actually believe in my 10 years of driving, I've never once experienced. It is the Mark I or NA Mazda MX-5. And of course, immediately in front of me, I can see those famous headlights. Of course, I've got to have them up, even though it's the middle of the day here in the summer. So I have never driven an NA MX-5, despite actually, well, I didn't really own it. It was my dad's, but I ran an NB MX-5 for a long time. I've driven the NC, and I've not driven the latest Mark IV, but this is the one I'm really keen to experience because, well, these things have developed somewhat of a cult following over the years. As they become older, the more popular they seem to become, and actually, in some cases, quite expensive to obtain, certainly one that's not falling apart. But here today at the SMMT test day, Mazda themselves have brought down this gorgeous white Mark I example and uh, offering us all a chance to drive it, which I had jumped at the opportunity because I've always wanted to experience one of these Mark Ones. Luckily, the weather's holding off for it today as well, and we had a little bit of rain earlier, but right now I've got the roof down, 20 degrees. And it sounds pretty good. I don't know what I was expecting really, but I can't believe how big those pop-up headlights are. They take up a big portion of the windscreen in front of me when they're extended. This particular example is presumably quite a nice one as it's got less than 40,000 miles on the clock, only 39,000 miles, and it is feeling really quite tight, not loose at all. And the engine, despite it not being the most powerful thing ever, pulls pretty strongly. It's nice and easy to rev match. This gear knob is fantastic. It's so lovely to use. The feeling through the steering wheel is lovely. It feels very taut, but not hard to control. And you don't need that much input to get around a corner. Here's a nice right to left hander. And yeah, quite a lot of body roll, but I don't really have a sensation that it's gonna stop holding on. This in some ways is peak sports car because it was just enough power to have fun with, but not enough power to kill yourself with or to lose your license with. And in a lightweight package that, that the brakes felt nice and sharp, the handling is responsive. It's got just enough grip to keep you on the road, but still to be playful. And it's when everything was better with analog, proper switch gear, lovely dials, pop-up headlights. And it is a really lovely experience driving this car. So easy to rev match in immediately after never driving one of these before. And the handling is so fabulous. <laughs> the brake pedal is very firm, but quite reassuring. And there's enough stopping power there. I mean, this thing weighs a penny, so it doesn't take all that much to slow it down. This thing has just got such a charming feel about it. In fact, I really quite enjoy it. I think the MX-5 often gets looked down upon as potentially a budget option to the superior German alternative, the BMW Z4s, and the Porsche Boxsters. But this does offer a level of charm and ease of access low barrier of entry that some of those German things don't have. They can be quite an intimidating prospect, especially when you start thinking about running costs in the early boxes with their IMS issues or Z4s with their numerous coolant issues. And I know these have quite a few problems with corrosion on older examples. From a mechanical standpoint at least, these things are notoriously quite cheap to work on and to run. The seats in here are pretty comfortable as well, and I was quite impressed to see that it even has electric windows. I didn't expect that. Also, just the feel of all the controls, especially the gearbox, feels so tactile and quite expensive. There's even a button here for a light under the glove box. And I think back when they were making these, there wasn't such an emphasis on cost cutting. It was more about the design and practicality and usefulness of the car as opposed to just trying to save costs at every corner and that really shows 
I not only have a water temperature gauge, but I've also got an oil temperature gauge, which is really handy to have. Got a nice big rev counter in front of me with that six and a half thousand RPM red line, which I'm going to try and use as much of here. Sounds pretty good, this car. And yeah, I mean, I can really push it, but I'm not really worried about doing anything stupid, which is not something you can particularly say. Bit of a heel and toe there. In newer cars now. If I'm being honest, my expectations of driving an NA MX-5 for the first time were pretty low. I mean, I didn't expect much, but it certainly drives a lot better than I was expecting. It's really fun, and I thought it would feel all loose and wobbly, but it feels extremely solid and well put together. I think a lot of that has to be said for the fact that this is a Heritage Fleet MX-5 with under 40,000 miles on the clock, but a bunch of people like me today have been getting in this car and ragging it a little bit like I am now, and it's doing a great job. It's really good fun to drive. If you've not driven one of these, you should absolutely have a go. If I ever get to the point where I've got access to a nice big garage and a, a little bit of spare cash for a collection of cars, I have to say, this would probably be in it. I'll try and find a nice one of these. And not only is it a charming thing to look at, but it's a really charming thing to drive. And it's actually exceeded my expectations in that regard. The simplistic nature of it is just something you physically cannot find in a new car today. In fact, with technology where it is, they'll probably almost never make a car as simple as this again. I've also just had the time of my life in the last 15 minutes driving it up and down that test route and the fuel needle's not even moved. This is just truly harmless, unintimidating fun. Well, this has been a truly surprising and enjoyable experience. Everything from getting in the car with the feel of those door handles to just the way this thing drives and how it's exciteful, playful nature makes you feel. Yeah, it's been really good fun. I never thought I'd be that interested or excited by the first gen MX-5, but I have to say I've been proved wrong. This thing has been a joy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one very, very soon.